for a quick little video. Sorry the lighting is what it is, but it's later at night and it's going to storm. So we're doing it by old school with special overhead lights. So that's why you might see some shadows coming and going. Um, but what I wanted to do is I had teased some photos of these two notebooks. This is a leather quill shop. Let's see if you can see that. Leather quill shop. And this is in the Pico's leather. And it's very reminiscent to me of the uh, Roadrunner leather from Sojourner. And it is in the A6 size. And this little thing right here is a Chic Sparrow. There we go in the nano size and is it it is in the Hera so it is the Odyssey that is distressed okay so I have lots of little different inserts here and I wanted to show you how I have this set up at the moment and some things that I'm going to incorporate in it so let's and you can see it's this gorgeous kind of greeny, bluey, distressed color. So at the moment I have my IDs in this pocket here. And I also have a debit card and some cash back here. I do have a couple of inserts that should be arriving sometime next week um, by Keely Wright, my Odd Girl Journals. And when those come, I will do an unboxing. Um, but right now at the moment I have three inserts in here. The first insert is a printable and it is from, if you can see, it's very 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 tiny. It says List Lab and they are on uh, Etsy and it is a monthly digital download um, and it's undated. So I have August of 2017 in here filled out there's September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, da, 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 da. and I, I ended up printing enough to get through December of 2018 and I do have dates of concerts all the way through the end of July of next year that I need to put in here. And what I decided to do since, I mean, yes, it is tiny. Yes, it's smaller than a passport. These inserts are like really tiny, like 2.9 by just a little over three. I mean, they're, they're very tiny little inserts. Um, but what I did was I took a highlighter and highlighted the number so that way you could see it differentiated from the what I actually write down for that day. So this is the first insert that I have in here. The second insert that I have in here is a grid insert and this actually came with one of my nanos from Chic Sparrow. Um, it was at that time when they were coming with a grid, a blank, and I want to say like a, a lined or a dot grid or something. Because here's the here's the blank one that came with it. I'm not sure. I think, I think it was a lined because the husband likes the lined. And so he kept that. Um, and so what I kind of did was I kind of set it up like my bullet journal. So here are my... Here's just a little preview of August with some important days for teaching. And then I basically have like a day a page. There's Monday, there's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, a Dollar Tree shopping list, a Walmart shopping list, Trader Joe's shopping list, something I was doing for Peaky Dory Designs. There's Saturday, there's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and I didn't fill in the rest of this. Thursday I haven't filled in. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Here's my August, my workout days. Yeah, that hasn't gone very well. Um, and so it is a um, just a 
grid insert. And then these pages here, I have some things on there that I need to eventually put in another place. And then here's the rest of the grid. And then this is another insert from List Lab. And what you can see it is the cutest little thing. It is a week on two pages, Monday through Thursday, Friday through Sunday with the notes. And it has this little fold out flap and it's undated. So then there's oops, the 7th through the 13th. Here's the 14th through the 20th and some notes. And here's the 21st through 27th, and it's undated. So, you know, you get the file and you can print as many as you want. And one thing I love about her files, with these little mini files, you get two spreads on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. Or she also provides them as an A4, and it's the same thing, you get two spreads, so you're not wasting a lot of paper. So I was giving this a try, just to kind of see what I thought of it. And I also was trying another weekly, just to kind of see which I like best. This is another weekly, but this one is kind of like that, um, so much crafting sort of a weekly or um, any plans, printables, they all look exactly the same. They all have some sort of a scripty font and they all have a box, you know, for people to put Erin Condren stickers or this fits um, uh, mini happy planner stickers. Um, for those of you that like to do the stickers. Um, so you'll see there's this week's focus, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then a little fold out. And the same thing here. There's this week. Yeah, I was supposed to do this on Tuesday, but actually I, I was busy with Peaky Dory Design stuff. Um, so there's this is one I was trying as well. Um, I'm not a very big fan of this type of planning. I don't use stickers. Um, and if I do, it's like a cute little sticker, not I'm not gonna slap down a whole sticker to cover the piece of paper. I actually use really good paper for these, so I, I don't see the point in putting down a sticker for me. Um, so I think I'm gonna stick with these because I like I like the space better. But I wanted to show you some other inserts um, by List Lab or Lab List. List Lab. I will link everything down below in the description box. So that those are the three that I have in here. Now this one right here, you can see, is a monthly tracker. And what I'm going to do is use this for tracking the students and their lesson attendance. When, say I don't happen to have this a6 with me. I say all I have is this because it's my wallet. I want to have a quick way where I can just jot down if they were here, if they weren't here, um, and that type of information. So I would put the student's name and then of course, you know, for them. So that way I've got, you know, there would be September, October. So that way I've got the whole school year in this, but I haven't filled it out yet. But that's what I'm planning on doing, I'm putting another insert in here. And then, these are some other cute little things that she has. Let me make sure that you can get a good view of that. So it's just like any monthly tracker, where you've got tracking on two pages. Yes, I know it is a little on the tiny side. The husband looked at it and said, wait, I need to take my bifocals off and get my reading glasses because this is just too tiny. And for him it is, um, but for me, I'm I'm actually fine with it. And then here is this, it's kind of like her Hobonichi style where you can highlight or circle the day, the month, and the date, and then you've got dot grid. And so I just printed enough where I think there's like 32 days it works out to have 32 days. And they're all the same. But then there was another one. 
that I thought was kind of intriguing as well. Um, where it's undated and you can put, you know, the date, the day, and then say if you've got a timed appointment. So it's basically like two days on a page, or a day on two pages, where you've got your appointments here and you've got a dot grid for uh, keeping track of you know, anything you need to know, lists, to-dos, whatever. So these are some very interesting inserts that I discovered. Oh, and there's one more. This one, which I haven't kept up with, because um, I just got it. She has a meal planner, and you've got breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks on hand. I did it Monday, and then I was kind of disappointed because it was like leftover pizza, leftover pizza, coffee, a cookie. Not the best way to eat that day. Um, but it's a wonderful little planner if, you know, like say you have your, like I did, my shopping list in here. You can plan out your meals in this and, you know, create your shopping list to go with it. Um, but that's also something you could do in this if you didn't have a blank grid. You know, one of these could just be for shopping lists. Um, so it's just a, they're teeny tiny little inserts. But what I will be putting in here, I will have these three inserts with this one. And I haven't decided if I'm going to stick with just a grid or a dot grid. Or if I'm going to go to, I think I might go with this one. So I can have track of my appointments in that. So if you really look at, I would end up having one, two, three, four, five inserts, plus my IDs, cash, and stuff like that. And look how teeny tiny that is. I know a lot of people think I'm crazy for using the passport size and I've even used in the past I've used my Foxy Fix Micro and I do have another Chic Sparrow in the chocolate um, but I think what I'm going to use this time the Micro just so you can see the difference in size this is three by four, so four high, three wide. So I've used this in the past and it's, excuse me, it's worked incredibly well, but I think I'm gonna try this cute little Hera Chic Sparrow. So what I will do is I will link down below Chic Sparrow, List Lab, and uh, everything that I have in here so you can take a look and see if it's something that you might like. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.